short video just to show you a few of the things that I've ordered recently. Um, I've ordered quite a few different things, different pouches, and they all sort of arrived at the same time. Um, I prefer not to use cases. I just think it feels better when it's nearly naked. Um, so I've currently got the anti-glare power support on the front, which I love and will never go back to having smeary fingerprints again. And the Decal Girl Whimsical design on the back, again, which I really like. It's just enough. It looks fantastic on the black phone. Um, and I've still got the wallpaper on the front, but I've actually taken the decal skin off um, the front. I just didn't like the way my fingers kept sliding into it um, at the sides. Um, so I'm still using my Moshi pouch all the time absolutely love these moshi pouches. I have three of them now um, and I do love it. I absolutely love it. I hard push to find anything better but I have been ordering a few things. Um, so the first thing that came was my foof pod and I love this. This is the tsunami design. It's got a sheepskin sort of well fake acrylic sheepskin can you have acrylic sheepskin? Yeah, acrylic sheepskin in the back, in the inside. And it fits really well. It's quite padded. Um, I don't know whether you can see that. Um, and the iPhone fits in really well. It's really snug. I would like to order another foof pad that's got the black satin lining to see if it's quite as snug. Um, because this is perfect. You couldn't ask for a better pouch than this one. I really love it. I use it quite a lot now. The only downside is the top is open, um, so when I throw it in my handbag or throw keys in my handbag, I'm a little bit worried about scratching the top. Um, but I really like it. It fits really well. It's easy to get out. You can still hear it when it's inside. So I definitely recommend the Foof Pod to anyone that's looking for a pouch. Um, and then what else has arrived recently? Quite a few things. Um, the... CEO Glide from Marware. I haven't tried this yet. I did pull it out. I could never do a genuine unboxing like some people do. As soon as I get the envelope, I rip it open to see what's in. It looks a really tight fit. It looks like the iPhone will hardly fit in there, so we'll have to see what happens. Um, supposedly it does on the pictures. It goes right in. So we'll see. And I also ordered no idea how to say this. A slim line by Vaser Cases. Um, and this is a really slim pouch again. I haven't really opened this. I just took it out quickly. These two both came from my gear store .com. Um, The one where you can put in Morpheus as a code. I did that on the weekend when you were getting a huge discount for using Morpheus's name. So thank you very much. That was great. And that was worked out cheaper buying them over in the States and having them shipped to England. And they came really quickly. But besides those two, I've also ordered off eBay for about two pounds. So three or four or five dollars. This is called a Moffy. Um, no idea what this is like. I thought for that price, um, we can cope with that. In fact... Just open it very quickly and just have a quick look. It was a real cheapie. Um, it's quite nice, actually. It's like, um, what do you call that? Velour. Vela? Velour. God knows how you guys pronounce it over there. I don't think, once I got the case, I realised it's not made for the iPhone. And it's not, because there's a huge amount of space. Um, but it's very Christmassy, that's why I bought it. I thought it'd be quite Christmassy. Could hang it on the tree. Someone could put diamonds in there. Um, and it's quite padded, actually. And really good stitching. It's really well made. To say, it literally cost me about £3 to have it sent. Um, and it's got a little moffy, moffy tag there. Um, so we'll have a, another look at that some other time. But my favourite case, and the only reason why I'm actually doing this quick video to show you what I've got, is so that I can open this one. Because this is the boa. And I've been hanging out for a boa for ages, but I really wanted the one that's 
black on one side and white on the other. I just thought that looked a really smart case. But unfortunately, I couldn't find anyone that delivered it to England. Um, Bower, I went through their site, and when I got to the part of putting my address and my postcode in, it just didn't seem to like it. So I'm not sure that they deliver to the UK. And then the sites that did deliver to the UK, none of them had the black and white ones. So I sulked, actually, and refused to buy either the black or the white. Um, so I got the silver one instead. Um, so this was just a quick one just to show you everything I've got and I am going to unbox them all properly and show you which one I like because I know there are more and more people out there who do prefer the pouches and the naked or nearly naked phones. Um, so we've got a, quite a little collection going on here. I've actually decided I've probably got an iPhone addiction problem with too many accessories but I'm sure I'll use them all um, and if I don't we we'll, might do another giveaway anyway I'll uh, speak to you all later I'll do a short unboxing of this boa which I'll put on and then I can use it when I'm going out tonight um, so that's about it so this is bunny drumming um, saying goodbye bye